All right, welcome to the show, everybody. We don't have a name for it yet. Hello, me and yeah, we're <laughs> we're figuring out names. So, but l- let bear me tell you, us. yeah, bear with us. Let me tell you what we have on the show, though. Uh, we can tell you that we have one really long discussion and kind of a serious discussion about race and the way it, re- it relates to yes. Lakeview Terrace. And you might be surprised at some of the we're answers gonna, we have. We're going to dive into that. So yeah, bear yeah. with us. We're not we're not geniuses on this. No, this we're, no we don't. So we we'll don't just, claim to be, but yeah. it is kind of long. But we yeah. like to break it up. The the, the the all the silly stuff with some with some serious things. Exactly. So just bear with us on that. Because as soon as we're done with that, we move on to some funny <laughs> stuff with William Shatner. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a race issue, and then dives into William Shatner, <laughs> William Shatner. <laughs> and then we get to some email we also talk about actors their careers and mm-hmm. when they should make the move to being more serious crazy when we, stuff. we bring up will that's ferrell so yeah so yeah. it's a lot of stuff that we talk about yes. so hey it's another one of those long shows yes <laughs> sorry <laughs> just deal got, with us on that got the guts we do not plan to, for these shows to be this long they just happen to be that way and exactly we to cut it out because hey i don't want to commit be, no, we don't want to there's some there's a lot of good shit in there so why cut it out you hey Push pause every once in a while. Do some work. Take a break. Go and take a come shit. Back. Yeah, you know, do do half the show. Go home. <laughs> listen to the other half. And hey, you know that'll that'll. I'm sure that'll work out just fine for you people. But you know, some co-hosts people talk about how they listen to this at work. Yeah, I mean. I know when I listen to certain programs, like when I listen to certain podcasts or even Howard Stern or something, I, yeah. I listen to it. And, I, and when I was working in an office at one time, mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? This helps me get past half the day. Oh, are you kidding me? I listen to yeah Howard Stern uh, that say that has saved a lot of my your my, boredom my, sitting my here. Boredom, yeah, my work frustrations when I'm doing stuff for spill. It gets me by. It saves my life when I get to listen to something. So like I'm just this. thinking about these long shows are not mm-hmm. always that bad. Look, if you're the type of person mm-hmm. who wants to spend five minutes listening to a pod, listening to a podcast while you jog or something, mm-hmm. hey, what can we tell you? It's not for you. But yeah. if you're the person who's you're sitting down, you're working, mm-hmm. or you're walking around a house playing a radio. I don't mind it being that long. Yeah. I mean, uh, like I said, I've been in a minute situation where I wish I had listened to certain podcasts yeah. where they didn't. Co- As a matter of fact, I don't want to say anything, but I listen to, uh, I don't want to bring them up. Well, I'll bring them up because those guys deserve the, the attention. There's mm-hmm. a, I listen to a uh, IGN. They mm-hmm. are a, a video game podcast. Mm-hmm. And there's one show in particular that they do that I like. It's about retro uh, video games yeah. and stuff. And that show's only 20 minutes long, if mm-hmm. that much. And I'm mm-hmm. thinking, wow. I, I wish it would have been longer. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, two, two hours, two and a half hours. That's come on. That's a good chunk out of your day helping you get by. Yeah. So shut the so, fuck yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Quit, quit bitching and get yeah. back to work. Exactly. <laughs> Sitting up here listening to podcasts. You should be working. And if you have this on the speaker, I'm going to embarrass you right now. Right? <laughs> hey, tits. What are you doing over there? Tits. <laughs> Screw you, boss! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I found a rat in my soda because you weren't paying attention on the assembly line. Get your ass back to work. I hate Chinese people. Oh, what the hell? Okay, he didn't mean that. <laughs> we'll see when they when they hear that on when they hear that loud, that loud. Yeah, they're gonna be looking at that guy whoever is listening to our show right now. Okay, when when China tries to send a nuclear bomb our way, then we it's know his fault. It's, it's your fault. Guy, no, it's that guy at work for listening to it. That's his fault. <laughs> All right. Now, being that it is a long show, mm-hmm. uh, we're just gonna go to the top five real quick. Right. You want to do, do that it. real quick? Yeah, All right. Do a lightning round. All right. So. Number five, got you, got your boys in there. Well, boom, the De Niro and Pacino and Righteous Kill. Hoo ha, hoo ha, hoo ha. That that Talking movie brought in uh, seven point seven million dollars this mm-hmm. weekend. Has a total gross of twenty eight point four million dollars. Yeah, and let me see, is that right? Yeah, twenty eight point. I'm sorry, twenty eight point eight million dollars. Mm-hmm. Uh, not. The move, not the money expected for a movie that had two legends in it like that. Yeah, and that's kind of disappointing, just because they are legends, and I like to see those guys in something really badass, you know. But hey, you know these the heat the heat day is over. I guess. Yeah, man, the days yeah. of films like Heat, the, the, they're over. I guess. I like the way you say they're going. <laughs> they, they, like, at one time you said, "Oh, they'll, they'll make another." I'm like, they, yeah, man, they, these guys are. Oh, they, they ain't gonna make no they other movie. Make it, hey, look, okay, now they both have said, "Yeah, they're willing to do another." film. But they're gonna be in the old folks home trying to kill somebody. I, I'll see it. De Niro Hell gonna yeah. be in one of those like those little scooter chairs yeah. that you see old people in the grocery store coming up poking a <laughs> nurse in the, in the ass. Yeah. Hoo ha! Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm down to see some 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 bust going on in the the nursing home with yeah, the guy. 
guys come in. The, 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 uh, here, here, here's a, here's a scenario, Corey. Uh, the the young the young uh, 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 what hitman the young hitman come in to take out the old guys to get revenge. But those old guys they still got it in them where they can pull off hit and they still know the old crafty ways and they're hiding in their bed, thinking <laughs> they they're pretending that they're dead. And they get up with their with their silencers and their guns and going off. But I see it right now, Corey. All in the old Ooh. folks' home. He part two in the nursing home. Yeah, electric you know what? boogaloo. You, <laughs> and we're going to explain the electric boogaloo later. Yeah. I like, you know what? You sold me. See, there the movie I was see? thinking, well, I was thinking of De Niro is like telling some other guy, that fucking guy stole my jello at lunch today. I'm going to fucking whack that. <laughs> you think but, you're big time? You're going to die big time. That's what I want to hear that line again, Corey. From All old right. Al Pacino. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. But um, here's It'll the, happen. I would love oh. to see that movie. But anyway, Righteous <laughs> Kill, not doing what they thought it would. But anyway, let's move up to number four, which is Igor, which brought in Igor, which brought in uh, $8 million this weekend. Yeah, this movie, I mean. First time it's out. Yeah, I was like, well, when did this come out? I mean, what? Did, I don't know, I, man. I thought this was going to go, you know, it looked like it was going to go like straight to DVD when I f- saw the trailer. It looks like almost like a straight to DVD movie. Yeah. I mean, I hate to say it. Uh, look, for a movie that looked like it did, let me see what the budget on that movie is. Yeah, it's a $30 out. million dollar budget on that movie, so it's going to be a hard time getting that back. <laughs> I apologize, Even, yeah. people. I'm sick, by the way. So. Damn, what's going on? Yeah, I noticed you were sick. What is, what's going on with you? You got a computer I, virus? Or what? Never download um, t- Two Girls in a Cup. I, I won't. <laughs> And that, that shit is funny because that shit is so Don't dirty die. it even made you sick <laughs> yes so uh, I'll yeah. get you an antivirus program or some, some yeah, scan, scan, some, scan some, your now you don't have the real robot runs anything no, do you not yet Corey but be careful <laughs> you can get right. your surfboard out when, when it happens so, oh boy <laughs> Man, <it's laughs> something tidal wave of a, oil a flavor <laughs> <laughs> out of my robot ass <laughs> but uh no Igor man it looks like one of those movies from the Weinsteins the Weinsteins have not have a, they haven't had a, hot, a lot of good luck with their films mm, and mm. I, I think they've had I don't know I, they, maybe they've had one hit but not like back in the days no. when they had when they were with Miramax Bob no, and Harvey no. Weinstein those days uh, are over Corey. yeah Miramax when they had shit like Quint, the Tarantino movies mm-hmm. uh, like Pulp Fiction and yeah. and, uh, and, and, and Reservoir Dogs, Dogs and, and, and movies and like Jackie uh, Brown yeah. Jackie, movies like The English Patient regardless of what you think about it I mean a big movie for them. They ain't and, making movies like that no more, no, Corey. No, I don't know what they're doing these days. These days are over. Uh, but hopefully, hey, here's hoping they get a hit at some point. Yeah, I, I hey. hope. So anyway. it'll happen. It's yeah, it'll take some time and be sure to release your movies on on proper days. Don't like like don't don't pull a grindhouse where you put that shit out on Easter. Come on, <laughs> my grandmother. I mean, Corey's grandmother could tell you that's a bad idea. Come on, <laughs> bring my grandmother in this. <laughs> Grandmother's dead. You son of a bitch. No, it's a, no, right. I think I think some of the choices that they. Man, it's Bob and Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, these guys. I mean, still to me, mm-hmm. that these are power people in they the industry, still are. and they, they still, still are. are. Yeah, I'm not trying people, to. Yeah. They ain't talking about. They ain't gonna kill my ass. Yeah, but be careful, I, of I mean, but I'm just saying, <laughs> how can you be Bob and Harvey Weinstein and you have your own company and you decide to make a choice to release something like Grindhouse on Easter? Mm-hmm. I mean, and now with these movies. They a lot of their CG movies are just not that good. I, th- uh, mm-hmm. I know they had Hoodwinked at one time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they Even had a, though you know what, I liked Hoodwinked. I saw it on on Cartoon it's awesome. Network. It's actually pretty it's funny, great. man. It's a great film, and I think the movie did okay for yeah. them, but not great. No, and they no. had another one that was based on a British cartoon series, and I forgot what that was called. But that didn't that bombed. Yeah, and uh, so bad timing, I guess. I, on, I don't know what the, they yeah. just. But as far as the CG movies goes, like Igor, yeah, got to get some, man. Come on, if you are gonna release CG movies, yeah, Pixar. DreamWorks, mm-hmm. even 20th Century Fox with like Ice Age, mm-hmm. you got to step up your game, man. You yeah, can't be you releasing do. no Lego shit out no, there, no, right? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it, look, it, it looked like something that you you you'd see at like the fucking Target or Walmart, like one of those uh, half-ass like you know knockoff films. Yeah, exactly. Like, like yeah, I mean, it, it ain't, come on, man. Like they got Barbie going straight to looked, DVD. Yeah, you know looked, what I'm saying? It looked like a poor man's Tim Burton film. That's what it looked. like. Yeah, That's yeah, you're really right about like. that. Yeah. You're exactly right. So. But come on, man! Step your game up with the CG shit. Right. Be smart. Bob and Harvey think, Weinstein, man. Think. Uh, and and Igor is, is, is for those who don't know, it's a movie about the the assistance to the mad scientists, Igors, yeah. and they kind of come up and do their own thing because they're kind of the second class citizens. Hey, you're an right. Igor. You're not supposed to invent <laughs> shit. Uh, John Cusack's doing a voice, so yeah, mm. no, nobody gives shit. Nobody. About yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, number three is my best friend's girl, Dane Cook. 
My best friend, yeah, girl. girl. Is, that, uh, is that the car song? Ma- yeah, they played in the movie too. Oh. She's my best friend's girl. That Dane Cook. Dane wow. Cook, but your he's best still friend. Movies, your man. best friend. No, he's not. Yeah. Did you ever yeah. say man, that, Corey? Look, Next thing the, you're going to be saying, my comedy's just like his. Don't <laughs> ever say that, please. As much <laughs> as I might criticize your comedy, <laughs> look, I, Dane Cook is somebody that. Yeah. I don't have anything against the guy personally. I, no. I just don't understand Dan have, Cook. Yeah. His comedy, somebody made somebody me listen to it, it. Yeah. And I was like, I don't get it. Because his comedy is like, you ever see this? And then yeah. you do this? Mm-hmm. And uh, what about that? And you remember like, Transformers? <laughs> you remember the GoBots? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Huh? Where, where's the joke? Yeah. I, but, man, yeah, I, I, I don't get his comedy. And I remember a lot of girls saying, oh, he's so sexy. Look, I've got to see Dan Cook. 70 feet high on a, on a screen, okay? Mm-hmm. That motherfucker looks like the wolf man with a spiky haircut, okay? Oh, no. I'm serious. You pull... You look like Eddie Munster? You, 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 <laughs> I, I want you to pull Dane Cook's face when he has like that shadow, that five o'clock mm-hmm. shadow, that stubble. Mm-hmm. Pull his face up, put it side by side with Lon Chaney and the wolf man, oh, no. and tell me those motherfuckers don't kind of look alike. Yeah. Uh, I just don't... Look, I'm just kind of jealous. when Butch Patrick start doing comedy. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell? Where's Grandpa? He's funny. Now he's funny. You know what? Butch Patrick from the Monsters. Yeah. Butch Patrick is that little. The, they couldn't decide Eddie if he Eddie was Munster. a if he was a little yeah. werewolf or a vampire. Yeah, exactly. In the Monsters, in the because he had yeah. that widow's peak like yeah. Dracula, but and, then he had the ears like a werewolf. Yeah, or something. sometimes you'd assume he was a werewolf because he always had that. He was always carrying around that werewolf doll. <laughs> <laughs> and that's who Dane Cook looked like. He, yeah. he grew up to be. Eddie, Eddie Monster, Monster, yeah. Eddie Monster grew up to be Dane Cook. But, man, I this movie, it has some of the people that I do not really like. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, uh, I'm not crazy about Jason Biggs. Mm-hmm. He, he, in this. Yeah, in, in the, that guy. What happened? I- I thought he stopped making films. Shit, that was wishful thinking on your part. <laughs> Leon can't stand him. I don't hate the guy, but I mean, yeah. he's just a really wishy washy, annoying yeah. guy in every movie that he in every movie that he's in. I always and think he's playing the same goddamn character from yeah. uh, American Pie. He's I mean. playing that same clumsy fuck up, yeah. and then they put him in this movie, and he's wondering why. Okay, in this movie, you have Dane Cook, Kate Hudson, and Jason Big, and Alec Baldwin makes an appearance in there, playing the same oh, asshole oh. that he does. Everybody's doing the same shit. <laughs> He's playing and, a character from Thirty Rock. Yeah, he's coming in yeah. playing. The, he's playing the asshole. That's because that's what the movie's about. Dane mm-hmm. Cook is he plays a, a guy who makes extra money yeah. by getting guys who've been dumped by their girlfriends. He's like, hey, l- l- let me go on a date with them. I'll be such an asshole that they'll be running back to you, knowing what they've lost in such a nice guy like you. Mm-hmm. Simple premise. So that's a premise. Now they mm-hmm. got to they uh, 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 so the concept. So now mm-hmm. they got to like do something around it. Right, and it's the same kind of shit. Comedy yeah. ensues. Yeah, and you got yeah Kate Hudson in this movie. Nobody's likable to me in this film. Yeah. And so yeah, I, Kate I just, Hudson. When is she gonna do something worth the shit? That, I, that I wasn't know, man. almost famous. God damn. Uh, and this, yeah, then so Jason Biggs is acting like a fucking idiot, wondering why his girlfriend dumped him. Mm-hmm. Kate Hudson is acting like a dumb bitch. Mm-hmm. One, you know, can't decide whether she wants a jerk for a boyfriend or should she go back to this little weasel of a guy that she, this guy who's like can't even don't even know how to approach a girl. Mm-hmm. And Dane Cook is just being fucking Dane Cook. Yet the movie made it, and, and it, look, it didn't do that well. Movie brought in, uh, let's see. Eight point three million dollars. So nobody well, want to hear about somebody that shit. out there has some sense. Dan Cook's talking. He's worried about the poster for the movie. He wrote a blog saying, "What? I don't like the poster for this film. Worry about the fucking movie, man. No shit. Choose your scripts, you dumb. Yeah. Man. See, now, you... Why am I telling Dan Cook that? I, mean, <laughs> I don't want him to do well. Look, I ain't kind of even talk about Dan Cook that no. bad. Dan Cook has a hunt. Uh, he has his audience. Yeah, he, people look, like yeah, him. Yeah, good for him. It's, he has a he has a, a rugged handsomeness about whatever. I don't know the fuck. Wait, really? That you said I about he like Eddie Munster. <laughs> no, you said actually one time you told me he looked like a poor man's. Uh... Oh, he looked like a, a a poor man's Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he does look like a poor man's Ryan Reynolds to me. I'm, every time I see him, I'm like, hey, it's Ryan Reynolds. Wait, it's not Ryan Reynolds. He looked like Ryan Reynolds to me. If Ryan Reynolds replaced his face with yeah. a gravel road, if like, you ask me, he looked like Ryan Reynolds shithead of a little brother. That's what he looked like. <laughs> Hey, come here. She's done telling this dumb joke. Stop. Stop. I want to hear that shit. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's go ahead and move into number two. Number two is uh, the Coen Brothers, Burn After Reading. Mm. It was number one last week. Yep. Number two this week. And the movie mm. has uh, brought in $36.4 million so far. Mm. The movie cost $37 million to make. So they, they're, they're, make, they're, gonna, they're, they're standing to make a money. profit. Yeah. So good those, for the Coen Brothers. Yeah. yeah. No, good for the, Look, I know it's one of those yeah. guys who I wasn't crazy about the movie, but right. hey, good for them. Yeah. I I'm, still need to see it. I, I'm actually looking forward to it. A lot of people... Who've recommended me this movie? Uh, they've they've 
told me a lot of good points about it that I yeah. think I might dig. So yeah, yeah. No, I, I think you know what I think you'd like it. In fact, I'd be willing mm-hmm. to tell everybody. I'm the guy. Don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen. To I'm me. the one guy out there who said I just thought it was meh. Okay. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm that idiot out there. So I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait a <laughs> minute. Uh, number one. Number one is what Lakeview the... Terrace. Oh, call Samuel your... Jackson don't oh, want you living next door to him. Damn, your favorite movie. Don't Corey. bring that black woman over here unless you gonna give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker boy, he was mad in that movie. Yeah, he was. Uh, but Crazy you know, man. you know what? Good, good for Samuel Jackson. Yes, All right, now I know a lot good. of people that I, I brought up some controversy. Oh, with Oh yeah, you did, Corey. Mr. Controversy himself. <laughs> oh my God! I'm, but I am. You leave white people alone already. Oh, here we go. Leave them alone, Corey. <laughs> Can't we all just get along, Corey? Can't we all just get, get along? along? If you're gonna pick on somebody, pick on the goddamn Eskimos. They got too many rights. Oh, if you ask me. Those those <laughs> those those troublemakers, man. Always living out in the cold, and bothering the fish. Always fishing, fishing. <laughs> always get fishing. tired of Eskimos. What's the problem? Yeah, leave them fishing. Killing all those animals for their fur. <laughs> They're ruining the environment. How dare you live in those goddamn igloos? <laughs> House made of snow. Igloos have rights too, damn it. <laughs> so Lakeview Terrace, man. Yes. Uh, look, first of all, I, I, regardless of what I thought about the movie, I am actually really happy to see Samuel Jackson mm-hmm. have a movie that was number one and sold Mm-hmm. On his celebrity, on his, oh, yeah. on his, on, on his, on his, on his star status, he's the guy to do it. I mean, that's the only reason why I went to go see that movie. I mean, just because Samuel Jackson being crazy and doing what he does, and I, hey, who doesn't want to see that? Exactly, I, I want to see it. <laughs> I mean, we always talk about Samuel Jackson fucking with people and screaming. Oh yeah, this is the movie where he does it. <laughs> now, I'm going to read a piece of email here, and people from this point on, we're going, to, we're going to get into the uh, long discussion. We're going about, to get deep. Yeah, we're going. I have to warn you now. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a yeah. long discussion about yeah, about race in this off, movie. Off. I want to hear this <laughs> shit. Ah, uh, screw this. But it's, be funny. <laughs> but listen, you know, a lot of people. For those of people who who say it, co-host has nothing to say. Who says that? I will kill him. <laughs> I will chop off the heads of, and I piss cooling in their goddamn throats. Who for it? Give me names. Uh, it, it, it was a I bet you was Silver Surfer, huh? No, he was actually cool. Silver Surfer it. likes you. Oh, you like? Oh, he does. Oh, yeah. Okay. See, no, you always mess with that guy. I got like you. I like Silver Surfer a lot. Too. I like messing with him. I, I like know. messing. With him. But uh, so I'm gonna read this email. And then, uh, co-host, you got you're gonna be very insightful, kind of withdrawn and, I'll and, and try. serious. I, I All right. get a little, and, 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 I get and a little gonna, nervous. Yeah, yeah it's gonna know. go on a little. It's gonna be a lengthy discussion. But goddamn yeah. it, we need to get that kind of serious. To, we need to, to, to in order <laughs> to deep. in in order to uh, improve the race, <laughs> yeah. we need to get into these deep discussions. Uh, I'm to, not trying to improve the human race. Eventually, robots will conquer oh, all. Oh, here you go. Destroy all you sons of bitches. Okay. But, hey, I'll entertain you, Corey. I'll entertain you. How's that? All right, all right. Let's, let's get deep. Patronize let's, me. Let's okay, okay. Let me read this deep. email and, and and let's let's get into the the deep 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 <laughs> shit. Deep discussion. Crossfire right here. <laughs> so this is from. Oh shit! He had to give me one of these goddamn robot names, like a barcode. <laughs> BP six five eight nine. Do we really have? Name. Do we really have to say that? <laughs> I know. Did I? Who cares, man? Here's an email from a dude. I think he should have just put a barcode on that. This is from barcode. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, uh, BP, that's what I'm gonna call him now. BP, BP says, so this week's number one movie is Lakeview Terrace, a movie you gave some old bullshit. Uh Oh, I watched your review and it seemed to me like the movie hit a chord with you. So I've got two questions. Mm -hmm. What is it exactly about this movie? That made you hate it so much. God damn it. I got to oh, go through that again. I thought boy. I covered that. but I know. Okay. All right. I mean, after all the comments I put on I'm the page scared. and everything. I'm scared again. Okay. I know. Get, get back. Get I'm back. terrified. And and why do you think more people went out and saw this movie than any other movie this weekend? Okay. First of all, I'll go through it again. Right. But I want to bring this up because I, I'm actually. Let's talk about this, Corey. Okay. Let's, uh, look. Let's get it out in the open. Look. Uh, look. First of all, I want to just come out and commend everyone. Who responded to to the review? To the comments on the to review? To the comments on the yeah. review. And uh, man, you guys are great. I mean, on any other page, I mean, or any other site, people mm-hmm. would have got on there calling each other names, all caps, yelling, insults going back and forth, all kind of Screw racial you slurs. Blackie. Yeah. <laughs> what does a nigger have to say about movies anyway? Corey, how dare you use that word? No, 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 oh I didn't use that word. God, I'm using that word to, to, to illustrate what people would <laughs> You're say. Racist, Corey. Yeah, you you just call me yeah. Blackie. Now you. <laughs> Well, that's a color, blacky. 
black. Right? <laughs> Blackie. That's a, that's, a, that's a crayon color. Blackie. Well, I like that color. Okay. Right, problem okay. With that? Oh, that's a goddamn yeah. racial insult. But the people, you know, because I've been on site, that's what they would have said. They would have, yeah. oh, niggers don't watch movies anyway <laughs> with, unless they're talking, so you probably didn't hear it like they were telling it or some shit like that. How you can you afford to go see a movie yeah. like that? How can porch monkeys <laughs> go see movies? Don't you belong in the zoo? <laughs> Food you, stamps get you in the movie too now these days. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Did you pay for your ticket with crack? Damn. But it, it made all kind of stuff. You know, it would have been it would have been so insulting. But yeah, people, if, if we were those people, we'd be. If, if, we, if we see, if, if I was a, if I was a racist, that's what I said. That's what yeah. we'd write. That's what I would put. But I'm not white, so I don't have a chance to put that. I don't know. Fuck it. I might still go in there and write myself. <laughs> probably be the most creative people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Black people. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go in there and write write my write myself. I, we need to put that in. There. Exactly. <laughs> Balance it out, Corey. That's what you got Exactly. Do. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, spook? Yeah. <laughs> what do niggers know? <laughs> it's going to be a new sex on the site. Oh. What do niggers know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's, just, that's the name of our new show. <laughs> <laughs> what do niggers know every week? Co host. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> niggers and robots. <laughs> Let me tell you, kids. <laughs> All right, kids, now don't go off. No, and try, no, don't now do don't that. go off and don't try to riff. Start, yeah, don't. don't go and try to riff on what we're saying. <laughs> exactly. We're doing this to point out how stupid racism yeah. is and racism. how ridiculous that would be if somebody it did is. it. It is. Don't you go out and try to do any jokes yes. like that. Don't start any groups. Don't don't do anything like that. Exactly. It's just like they say when they when you have those those kung fu movies and they say, yeah. do not attempt to do these <laughs> yeah. at home. Do not attempt to use yeah. racial humor. <laughs> Paid professionals. Yeah, exactly, right here. Statements, so be careful. We're racial stunt man. We know what we're doing. Exactly. So, uh, they, they, a lot of people came on. They were real cool about it. And I was, and look, they actually had a good point. Mm-hmm. And I want to, I want to, before I get into what I didn't like about this movie, I just want to say, hey, look, just because I'm managing everything around here and kind of running things don't mean that I don't take criticism. I mean, that's part of it. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, listen, a lot of people came in. They said, okay. This movie seemed kind of personal for you. Mm-hmm. And in the middle of that, it just seemed like you went overboard with the criticism. Mm-hmm. And it's not so much that I think I went overboard. It's that I didn't really give any other insight on the movie. I went in there, and we made fun of it. And we had yeah. a good time just kind of making fun of it like we do with any other movie. Yeah. And then I just jumped into the whole racial thing and just said, fuck this movie. Mm-hmm. Samuel Jackson's the, the bad guy. Yeah. And I thought back and I said, you know what? A lot of people are right. They, mm-hmm. I did not go in and give a balanced review saying right. – what things were good about the film because you were the one that came in I, at the I, end. Yeah, I tried because, I mean, I, I, I sort of understand where you're coming from, but, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I definitely had a feeling like you kind of had your mind made up as far as a film like this, which is easy to do. You look at the trailer and you just like, it kind of rubs you the wrong way to begin with. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I was hoping that I can somewhat balance that as far as, you know, I, I don't have the same issues even though i understand those issues and where you're coming from but at the same time i'm like well you know i'm not i'm not a black woman obviously so yeah. i can't really speak for them or as a far black as man it, or, or a black, black man, anything or a black anything yes <laughs> i i am a, i am a robot you were silver and I'm silver and caramel I'm silver, that's your color I'm silver and beautiful <laughs> <laughs> silver is beautiful so it's really hard for me to um Try, try, try to uh, generalize anything as far as you know what, what this film represents to you or anyone else because I've never been on that side. I've, ne- I've never been in a in a uh, relationship where you know I've been a black female. You know I'm dating a white man because I don't see that world. So it's really hard for me to comment on those <clears throat> issues if I've never really been there firsthand to uh, to really experience that. And but I do understand where you know you obviously have your feelings towards it, and I know you have issues with these certain types of films, and there are certain things that rub you that Hollywood does, and, and you know they do that with a lot of races. Um, it's just that a lot of the times that you know those movies aren't really uh, they're not they're they're not once they come out people kind of look at it and they and you know but they don't it's just a movie to them they just it, it's it's nothing that hits them on a personal yeah, level yeah yeah but i do think with a lot of these films that deal with interracial couples yeah you know it's going to strike people's chords in some different ways um but at the same time you know we do have a job as far as we shouldn't be so biased i mean it's it's like keeping your personal issues. Look at you being all responsible. Of your work. We have a job. Yeah. I, no, I, I know. never heard you but, say but that. But you know, it's hard though. It's hard to do because obviously you have strong feelings and you're very strongly opinionated, and that's good. But at the same time, you know, uh, you know, there's plenty of films I've seen where I have some issues with what's, what's discussed, and I'll kind of I'll I'll kind of bring that up. But I want to bring it up to where I don't want people to see my view so much. I want them to kind of think 
about what's going on in this film, what makes me kind of feel this way. But I don't feel it's necessary to, you know, I hate to say beat them over the head with it. Um, well, I wasn't trying to beat people over the head yeah. with it. It was just, but a, I, I can I, understand I, where people were kind of getting that from the review yeah, because no, it and, definitely yeah. seemed kind of one sided. And they and they were right. Look, mm-hmm. I don't the the the, the what I, and one of the things that you said was that Samuel Jackson gave a good performance in the movie, he, and he did, and yes. he did, mm-hmm. and he actually did. And actually, even though we've been talking about Samuel Jackson's role in the movie, and we've been kind of brushing off Kerry Washington and mm-hmm. and Patrick Wilson, they both did a really good job. No, and I tell you what, good. that guy Patrick Wilson mm-hmm. played off very well with Samuel Jackson. I mean, yeah. for his performance to work, mm-hmm. you had to have somebody else there to actually mm-hmm. respond, like. This motherfucker's crazy, right? And, yeah. and, and and he played off that guy well because Samuel Jackson was very aggressive. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Patrick Wilson was like, "Please, man, yeah. I'm just trying to live." Exactly. I'm just trying to hang out with my. I'm just trying to live uh, uh, the American dream with my wife. Yeah. You obviously have issues with it, but you know, please. I mean, this is my family. Keep that, keep that shit to yourself crazy, and quit, quit. Yeah, quit tormenting us. Even, like that's when he invited him. He over was. To, he was yeah. giving him hell, and I mean. And the thing is, it does paint Sam- – obviously, it paints Samuel Jackson in a very negative way. Uh, but at the same time, I believe, yeah, you know, there are people out there like that. And I'm not going to try to pretend that they're not. Um, just because this one movie, you know, focuses on that, uh, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to have people kind of like thinking, well, they're, they're making Samuel Jackson as the evil black guy. And me as a black man, I don't like to see well, black men portrayed that way. No, see, it's, it's not that. It's yeah. not that I don't like to see black men portrayed right. as evil guys. There's been plenty of movies where the black man has made I me mean, look. There's bad people everywhere, right? And that's not that wasn't my problem with the right. film that Samuel Jackson was yeah. was bad. But I, I think the way was, I think the way the review came out, I can sign, I can sort of see people seeing it that way it, it, as far as like your issue mm-hmm. with it, because like I mean, I saw the review and. Uh, it definitely seemed like you had an agenda well, with that review. I, well, I did. Look, I don't have an agenda. The, the, the social issues in that movie right. still bother me. Yeah. And I, and I will tell you why. I mean, mm-hmm. when, when a movie tries to tackle the social issues, mm-hmm. it's, it, it's putting it, an impression out there about mm-hmm. what it's bringing up. Yeah. I mean, we like to say movies are just movies, but right. sometimes they're not, and they can give the wrong impression. I think this movie is trying to e- equalize racism mm-hmm. in a way that's not realistic. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, d- everybody has their prejudices. Everybody, is, every, everybody doesn't, uh, doesn't like somebody for some lame reason. Mm-hmm. I mean, whether it be race, somebody doesn't like somebody because of their religion, mm-hmm. somebody doesn't like somebody because of their gender. It's in everybody. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but when you look at this movie, uh, I, I I believe that they're trying to say that you know the, uh, black people seem to have a problem more when uh, with interracial couples mm-hmm. than white people do. Or yeah. that movie kind of make it could give that perception. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because, well, you know what? Okay, now you saying that now watching the movie, I, I can say that I, I really don't I don't see it. I, I didn't see it that way because. There was only one person that had a problem with this couple, and that was Samuel Jackson's character. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the kids, his kids didn't have an issue with it. They were going over there and hanging out, and you never you never saw those kids give the white guy, like, a look like, you know, what, what the hell are you doing? With, well, with, here's my problem. Know. Here's my problem with this, then. I, I think mm-hmm. – <clears throat> okay, if you want to get <clears throat> – did you give me what you got? <laughs> I'm telling you. I got dude. a computer virus I in my throat. I tried to warn you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Keep drinking your beer. But uh, <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal. My mainly my problem is this: it's not with people, mm-hmm. uh, everyday people who are out there, because mm-hmm. we all meet all kind of people with all kind of malice mm-hmm. in their hearts. And, yeah. And uh, but the, my problem with Hollywood mm-hmm. right now, and 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 sort of just the media in general, is that everybody tries to use these slogans. They come out and say, "Oh, people are just people. There's only one race that counts. It's the human race. Mm-hmm. Love who you like." And it's really not that simple. I mean, if we all really believed that, if we all really, really believed that, mm. then we wouldn't have situations where we see Holly. And I commented on something like this: we, where we see Holly, Holly Berry in movies with white people, right. and nobody says a word. Mm. But the moment we see a black man in a movie with a white woman, that's controversy. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to. It's funny because when you say that, I'm trying to think of the last movie that really stirred controversy because – Well, you don't get to guy. see it. That's why right. it doesn't happen. But I gave an example. Yeah. Uh, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong on this. I mean look this up. But I think I read this and I, and I, and I would be willing to see to if I'm wrong about this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but Will Smith mm-hmm. and, and Hitch, mm-hmm. it was a big thing where <clears throat> they wanted to get a good co-star for him to be a romantic lead. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, they didn't. They weren't able to find a black woman that that was a star status that they want, but they couldn't put him in the movie with a white woman because they said, "Well, that's going to probably scare off audiences." Mm. So now we got one of the biggest stars out there, mm-hmm. Will Smith, black guy, one of the biggest stars out there. It's an issue for for us to put him in a movie mm-hmm. where he's possibly seen kissing a white woman, but yet, like I said, we can see all kind of movies where black women make out with white men. Mm. And it's not that much of an issue. Mm-hmm. I don't expect everybody to see it because unless you're the target of it. And I see right. women. And this is why I'm more sympathetic to women's arguments all the time because I've mm-hmm. even done I see women all the time saying, I don't like the portrayal of women in this movie. I don't like the portrayal of women in that movie. Mm-hmm. And they get brushed off all the time with people saying, mm-hmm. you're just being a hard ass. You're just, you're just yeah. being a feminazi. And I don't want to hear that shit from you. Well, honestly, <clears throat> when you think about it, you know, a lot of the uh, female characters are written by men. Exactly. And, I mean – and that's what I'm saying. They have a right to be. No, yeah. That's a, and they, they, that doesn't, really, con- I think that doesn't honestly, excuse them for like being yeah. upset. And yeah. so when I see this and I have to bring these issues up and, and a lot of people who aren't in my position don't see it. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of frustrating because yeah. people do think that you just. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, and people even go as far as to say you're racist. Mm-hmm. You're, what are you some kind of racist? Well, I'm, I'm being a racist because I'm bringing up mm-hmm. problems that are the ripple effect of racism. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. And it's, it's frustrating when people don't have to yeah. be the target of that or yeah. see it. Or, or have to live it. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard to try to generalize all these theories, and you know, as far as what you think, who's hating who, what? Because I mean, these are all different individuals. I mean, you can't really, unless you're you're that person dealing with those issues, you'll never really, you'll never know, you know, who's getting hit the hardest. Um, but as far as like a movie like this, I mean, it really didn't. It, it, I didn't feel like it was banging the idea over. Uh, you know, me not being a black person. It didn't make me think that black men were monsters or, you know, they hated the fact that, you know, it, all yeah. I thought was this one character was fucked up to where he was harassing this couple. But, you know, my one issue with the problem, uh, my one issue with the movie was that the fact that it wasn't represented well, it wasn't written well, it wasn't structured well yeah. to, 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 to kind of give me uh, any kind of reason of why this guy felt so strongly about this. Like he had no... He, he had no real backstory as to why he had these feelings. I thought that's the one flaw with this film. Yeah. You know, I know they tried to make you sympathize with his character, mm-hmm. but even that story didn't work. It didn't make any sense. Well, uh, to know, me at least, to why he had this hatred towards this interracial couple. Well, that was and, my thing. I was going to say yeah. that uh I would it didn't help that I really didn't like the movie for mm-hmm. for other things outside of the issue right. because I don't really think it was that good of a movie. Mm-hmm. Outside of my problems with it yeah. uh, being a race issue. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you one thing. What, what I was leading up to with that last conversation is mm-hmm. I think that at one time this movie possibly mm-hmm. maybe could have been written where it was the opposite. Where mm-hmm. it could have been a black guy and a white woman. Mm-hmm. And you had a pro- maybe a white neighbor next door who was yeah. racist against them. Mm-hmm. But because they didn't want to – they were scared of like maybe if we put the, an interracial couple out there was a black man with a white woman. Mm-hmm. The movie won't do that well. Really? And so I, I really believe that, man, because they've done that a lot with movies where they say we have to be careful where we show mm-hmm. a black man with a white woman. Like I said in, a, in, mm-hmm. in, in, my, in one of my comments, man, I mean, let's not I, – I really respect people who say I have nothing against people who do this and that. Mm-hmm. But these are people who aren't the gatekeepers of, the, uh, of media images. Mm-hmm. And, uh, 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 they're not the gatekeepers of movies and film mm-hmm. and television. Mm-hmm. The day that I will see – a mixture of different kind of people. I'm talking about all different kind of things. Uh, the day I see like Coke commercials, mm-hmm. car commercials, yeah. things like that, where they're not afraid to show men and women of different type hanging out with each other, especially mm-hmm. black men hanging out with white women. That's when I will cease to be this way. But well, you're I not tell you see what, it. though, I, and I understand. Uh, like I said, you know, I don't know how many times I can say I understand where you're coming from. But I definitely think that down the road, uh, you will see. I mean, inter- just, oh yeah, just because right now. If you look at, uh, I mean, white people are kind of becoming the minority right now. It's just a fact of life, especially in America. I mean, no, don't so tell many, the white guys that there's so like, many. They're no, taking everything, no, man. No, no, no. No. But there are so many interracial couples that you know, eventually down the road, it's not. I mean, not to say that it's not going to matter. You're still going to have. You're still going to have people with hate in their hearts, regardless. Oh yeah, whatever. Shit, that, be, that will yeah. never change. That will never change. I hate you. But the you. thing is, is that hey man, I hate <laughs> no, you too. I, but, see, this, but we're here. Uh, no good. <laughs> you no good, Nick. Yeah, no good. No good. Uh, 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 Purple shoe wearing. 
<laughs> when you get purple, I ain't got on no purple shoes. But people yeah, think I'm sitting up in a, in a, yeah, in a you, you got you, them Reebok purple shoes, Corey. People think I'm sitting up in a pimp dude. outfit to do this with you, and your, and your hat with your oh, feather man. in it. People believe what I tell them, Corey. All right, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I, obviously, you know, it, the, the America right now it's becoming interracial. I mean, and, and down the road, yeah, I mean. People are going to say, hey, you know, I'm sorry, I don't buy this image that you're selling me anymore. And it's going to happen. As, as much as you say about these gatekeepers out there that control, well, you know what? Those people are starting to get old, and eventually yeah. new people are going to come in. I mean, well, it, and, no, you're and, right. and the thing is, and they're going to go, you know what? Well, this isn't the, how the world is looked at anymore. It's not the real world anymore. Yeah, 